cards are feels they feel kind of um, different. All right, so the first card we have for you guys is Innocence, um, Scorpio. Some of you are going to be thinking a lot about your life, and you're going to be thinking a lot about um, deep, kind of deep thinking about how amazing life is um, and the wonderment of this April and how I live in California and everything's blooming, growing, um, and the sun's uh, warmer. Um, and uh, it's, it is amazing. I look at all the flowers and stuff and I, I just, I love them. But a lot of you guys are going to be thinking about um, your environment and um, you're going to be possibly having some moments where you're just really enjoying and you're, you're the small things in life. Um, and like a little child, you're just kind of like in wonderment, uh, uh, in wonderment of everything. Um, you guys have the lovers. Wow. Okay. Nobody's had this card yet so far for this month. Um, this is in, you guys are going to be acting. Uh, you might be reaching out, doing things. Um, you might be connecting, going out with somebody uh, that you really love and have a lot of passion for. Um, you definitely have love here and it's in the position of taking action and doing things with a loved one. So, wow, you guys might be in love. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're in wonderment and happy about everything in life. Um, you guys might be in love, 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 love. It's here for you. Uh, and you're taking action towards it. It's in the position of taking action. Go for it, Scorpio. Go for it. It's here for you. It's a beautiful love. It's a soulmate type of a love. It's two people that feel, feel the same for each other. And there's a huge attraction and passion um, for one another. And uh, go for it. Take action. The next card we have is We Are the World. You guys might be feeling worldly. You might be uh, feeling loved by the universe. Um, you might be feeling um, that things are really changing in your favor that that things are going now in a pot maybe they were not maybe love maybe it's about love maybe love was not going in your favor but now it is you're really feeling like things are changing and moving in the direction for you now things are going in your favor things are going a lot more easy in your life um maybe you've come came out of some kind of um you know bad situation i don't know but you are really feeling a change you're really feeling it guys good for you that's amazing you're feeling love, you're feeling, you know, a newness and, uh, it's positive, it's change. And you're, you're really feeling how wonderful it feels. So the outcome here is letting go. Um, maybe some of you have let, maybe you're feeling such a beautiful love for somebody. Um, and your life is, you know, you might be having to let go, uh, of something else because when we do love somebody and, our life is now changing in such a positive motion, right? We're starting to enjoy the subtle things in life again because, you know, when you're in love, everything's beautiful um, and things are going in your favor and, or your relationship. Things are now moving forward in your love life. Um, sometimes we have to let go of old things that no longer serve us because this positive stuff is coming in. You may have to let go of something else. So because of this love, or maybe it's not just because of the love, it's just because of the site, this new cycle that you're going in now in your life. Um, and you're moving towards love, uh, love for yourself and others. And, um, yeah, you're moving towards it now. Um, so it, it may cause you to have to let go of something, um, not having to do with this person that you're in love with, but something else, um, in order to move forward in this new love and in this new path and this new way you're going. So you are, you're letting go of something. You guys have to let go of something and you're going to do it. Um, that's not a big deal. You're like, not a big deal. You got to let go of something because you're having a new start. And this new start is starting off with a huge love. Um, part. Okay. So this is the nine of wands, you guys. This is the nine of wands. It is in reverse. So there is a slight energy here of feeling like you've really achieved something and you're worn, you know, you might be worn down at this time or somebody in the situation involved in the situation this month is 
exhausted. Um, they've achieved a lot. They've made it to the top. They've went through a lot of challenges and they may be feeling exhausted and like, like they're not going to be able to make it forward, forward or to continue with it because it is, it was a lot of work. So, um, I'm not sure yet what this is about, so we'll find out. So the main energy for your reading is the six of pentacles, six of pentacles. So, um, you might, got, you guys might be coming into some money. Somebody might be giving you money. Um, somebody might be giving you a lot of attention. Um, this is a beautiful card. Some, it could be somebody from your past. Um, No, this is, this is, uh, you're getting a loan maybe, maybe your loan is coming in, but you're getting money. Okay. You're going to get money. Um, this money might help you on your new start, uh, with this new love, love life, this new beginning. Um, but you are really solid. You're solid. you got some money coming in. Wow. What a great way to start. Oh my gosh. You guys have the lovers again. Nobody's had the lovers yet in any of the readings I've done. Okay. I think I have three more readings left. Zo sign, zodiac signs left. So, um, you guys have love, 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 love. Wow. Um, and money <laughs> and a new beginning and wondrous love hormones and happiness going through your body. So you guys have love. Um, it's crossing you and money. So you're getting love and money. What? Scorpio, what is going on? Um, happy days, happy days, happy days for you. In the recent past, you had the chariot. The chariot is in reverse. So in the recent past, you were not able to move forward in something. You were not able to, there was a postponement. Something was being postponed that's stopping you, um, delaying you from taking charge of your life, from moving in a positive motion and being confident and getting what you want. So that was in your past. Say la vie. Goodbye. Now, hello, love and money. Okay. This is in your, in your, uh, this is what's coming to you. This right now, this is the 10 of wands. There is some kind of busyness, very busy, very busy. Um, there's a lot of burden. It's causing you to be, you know, it's a heavy weight upon yourself. Maybe you're being pressured into doing some things um, that take a lot of time. Um, you guys may be working too much. You might be working way too much or, or taking on, you might not be saying no. Maybe you need to say no uh, to your job. Maybe there's something going on and you're taking on way too much. Um, if it's something that you can control, it's telling you, try to control that. If you can say no to your boss or whoever, you know, this isn't a relationship, uh, friends, family, um, because you guys remember this, if you're working too much, you might be becoming a workaholic. Some of you might be becoming a workaholic and you're not facing life and you're becoming too much, you're, you're, you're accepting too much. You're taking on too much work to avoid something. If that's not the case for some of you, Scorpio, it's just been unfortunately put upon you by circumstances in your life. Um, and you're having, you're having to take it on just due to the fact that it's part of your journey and it's been put upon you. Either way, I want you guys to try to take time to relax and try to put down some of the want, some of the, some of the projects and some of the things that you've taken on, at least postpone it or do it in a better pace. Not maybe all at once. Tell people that, it, you know, you need some time or, you know, because I don't want you to get burned out. That's all. The warning here is keep going forward, keep being busy, keep, keep striving to complete these things that have been put upon you. But if you do have a choice in the matter, you know, Make sure you do think about it before you say, yes, I'll take on this job or I'll take on this responsibility or I'll take on this. And because it is a lot, you guys. So keep moving forward. Maybe this love that's all over the place is going to help give you the uh, energy to go get through that. Okay. 
right now and also you have in front of you is the moon card, this beautiful moon. You guys are really, things are being revealed to you. You're being able to quiet your mind. You're being able to find answers in your, in, within yourself. You're being able to relax. And uh, if you do have questions, if, you do, if there's hidden things that you need to know, if you're not sure, sure, sure or certain about something and you need to find the answers, go within yourself and meditate and um, so you can get the answers. Because if there's somebody hiding something from you or you're hiding something from yourself, it is important to uh, go take some time out, you know, get step away from these burdens for a minute, go outside, meditate in the dark in the, you know, outside in the stars, because you, you, some of you guys are letting go of something, even though you have so much positivity and love and change, you're moving forward to a new life. It looks like you're letting go. You were not able to move in the past. You are now. And I think that you're, because you're moving on, um, you know, you're realizing that you have to let go of your, your past life because you're moving on to a new life now, a new love, a new romance, a new passion, um, a new energy, a new life, a new, a new perspective. Um, so it's saying meditate, let go, ask God to let go of the, of, of any burdens that hold you, um, and any sadnesses that you are. When we move on to something new in life, it is normal to, uh, feel a little bit of, um, uncertainty or sadness or attachment. Um, because letting go means we have to unattach. We have to say goodbye and we have to put it to rest. Okay. Cause you don't want to hold on to anything in your new life. You're going into a new a brand new life and you don't want to hold on to anything. So yeah, take a, take a break guys. You'll find the answers in yourself when you relax. Right now you guys want, um, yeah, this is, this card is interesting how they did this, this artist. Um, this is the swords and this is saying, okay, so this is, this is the 10. Yeah, this is the 10 of swords, but it's in reverse. So the 10 of swords is in reverse and it's in the position of what you guys uh, truly want. And you truly want to, you already are free of your past. Your past looks like there was a lot of um, hard times in your past. There was a lot of um, conflict, confusion, deception, lies, disappointments, sadness, um, and it looks like you guys are coming out of that now. And that's what you're, that's what you're striving for this month is to co completely let go, just to completely heal and let go from this past crap that was going on with you. Because right now, all it is is beautiful stuff coming forward. Okay. You're looking at your situation like you are the emperor. You're looking at your situation like you are in control. You fight, you, you're in control. You are the king, the master. This is the emperor. It could be a female or a male. This is for a female or a male Scorpio. You are the emperor, even if you're a female. You guys are now looking at the situation like you are now in control of your life. Your life is going to be very stable, very secure because you're running the show. You're in control. You have all the wisdom, all the experience, all the strength, all the knowledge. You've made it to the top and you, nobody's going to be able to push you down. This is a very, very long... Uh, long time getting to where you are right now, maybe a lifetime to get you to this point, whatever the situation is. Maybe this is the person of your life, the dreams, this love, this love in your, with your found a new love in yourself or, or another person. My God, you guys, ah, oh, I'm so, I, this energy, I'm feeling it really strong. This passion, it's almost overwhelming. Um, it's beautiful. You guys are coming, becoming this emperor. If it's not you that is be feeling this, you're looking at the situation like this situation is, or somebody in it is the emperor, which could be an Aries. But I really believe for most of you, you guys are taking the emperor position. You're moving up to a huge level in your life. If there's somebody else involved in this situation, they may be leaving their family. They may be being divorcing or separating from their family. They may have lost a family member um, one way or another. 
So the other person is leaving behind, maybe they lost some money, some inheritance, they lost it, or I had a bad money situation, but they've left their family. They're no longer with their family. In your fear section, you guys might be fearing this person, and I don't blame you. This is the um, king of swords in reverse. He or she, because it's a general, is manipulative, scorned, bitter, uh, manipulate, manip trying to manipulate a situation, or they're ready to cut you. They're going to cut you out of their life. They're going to cut you with words. And I think you're a little bit afraid of this person. <laughs> um, you know, if, if, if you left somebody, if you divorced somebody, for instance, maybe they're not happy. <laughs> So you might be a little bit afraid of this person. Um, you might be afraid that they're going to uh, come into your life or something. Um, but some of you guys have a, a little bit of a fear of this person. But don't worry. You guys have a new life. Move forward. Let go. Oh, my gosh. And the outcome is the Nine of Cups. You guys win. I mean, this reading is just fantastic. The Nine of Cups. You are completely satisfied, you guys. I mean, it's not the Ten of Cups, but this is pretty close. This is the Nine of Cups. You are very satisfied, content, fulfilled. You have love. You have money. You have success. You have a new beginning. You have a new outlook on life. And you're just in love. And you guys have it all. I think you guys win. Scorpio, it's about time because I think you guys were having some pretty difficult times in your past and April is the month for you. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Keep moving forward. Don't overwork. That's the only message here is, you know, we have the Ten of Swords and we have the, in reverse though, so it looks like you are moving out of it. But there was some stuff, you know, and now you have the Ten of Wands, which is, you know, a lot of burdens. So this is the only warning for you is don't give up, guys. Keep moving forward so you can um, completely heal and let go of your past so your new life can take effect and be 100%. So you can turn this nine of cups, which is already amazing, into ten of cups. So just let go of these few little things and don't work too much. Don't over, you know, try to take some breaks with this burden or ask people for help. Maybe somebody can help you. Maybe there's something somebody else can do. Maybe you can delegate some of this burdens to other people. It says, what, what do you feel, Scorpio? What do you feel? It says, question mark. Can you guys answer that? What do you feel? So I'm going to read, if you guys can bear with me and hold on, I'm going to read you a little bit about this card. It's really interesting. It's uh, got some really informa good information for you. Maybe you guys haven't felt in a long time and you're having so much great stuff come to you. You don't know what's going on. I don't know. Let's see. What do you feel? There are, there are many uh, options around you. Some are helpful, but others are distracting you from your truth. Although it can be helpful to hear the thoughts of others, when it comes down to it, you, you will have to come to your own decisions. You, do you know how unique you are? How your path is, your path is to be chosen, lived, and created only by you. Someone else cannot become the source of your decision-making power within, without negative repercussions or both of you in the long run. This oracle card comes to you because you have become swept up in thinking things, in, swept up in thinking things through. This oracle comes to you because you have become swept up in thinking things through. You have been thinking about which way to go with a matter of importance, and you have got a bit stuck in the logic of the decision-making process. Sometimes we have to accept that any path is a path forward, and if it is not the best path, we can change our approach later on if needed. If you, if we are slightly off base with a decision, life will often shift and move to guide us back on track. 
We don't have to be perfect. In fact, there is rarely ever a perfect choice to be, to be made. Just, just some choices that feel more heart honoring than others. Sometimes we can only know, really know in hindsight, if we make the best choice possible in that moment. At the time of decision making, we only really have our eternal wisdom to rely on. And that is all we need. The oracle of what you, what do you feel is telling you there is no need to punish or traumatize yourself with possible choices. Just making a choice will set things in motion. The best way to, cat, to catalyze, catalyst the situation you're in and bring about healing change Stimulate your creative juices and find a more inspired, energized, and enjoyable approach to your life is to take, is to just make a choice based on what you feel right now, not based on anything else, anybody else's feelings, just yours. So ask yourself, what do I feel right now? And go from there. If you cannot relate to the need to make a choice between two or more alternatives, then the Oracle brings you this message. You are at crossroads in your journey and the choices you make at this time, even simply choosing to do so, even choosing to do things a little differently without much drama associated with the decision are powerful trigger triggers for some great magic to enter your life. Take a different approach to something. Be open to that which makes you comfortable. I'm sorry, uncomfortable. Be open to what makes you uncomfortable, but could be exciting and interesting. Even small adventures will yield big rewards right now. Okay, guys, if you are having a problem with making a decision, maybe that's why you're really burdened. Uh, you have a lot of stuff going on, so you don't really know what you should do. Um, it's saying, follow your passion, follow your heart right now. Don't follow logic too much. Logic takes an important part, but it's also saying, follow your heart. Maybe you guys are always been too logical and stuff. Um, either way, um, it's time for you guys to make a choice and don't put too much weight on it. Because again, sometimes when we know and we, we make a choice in our life and we're all confident about it, doesn't necessarily guarantee anything so you will be you cannot it's saying you cannot make a wrong choice because in the end you will be guided back to the truth or to the best choice for you if you make a wrong choice so the ones that are having a hard time um don't worry let go of the burdens enjoy this new love this new passion whether it be love just for yourself or this beautiful person that you're you're going to be with um Move forth, guys. Don't let anything stop you. Do not, do not, do not, do not let anything stop you. 